how do you tie in to the climbing rope? And the first thing that we're going to do, and we'll show you this a couple of ways here, but the first thing is uh, we're going to come up close and personal here so you can see this. We got uh, about a meter of rope. We'll do this from a point of view standpoint so you can see. First thing is you're going to create a loop like that. So the tail coming off the front. Then you're going to come around the back and you're going to come around the back of this rope and then you're going to go through the hole to, uh, uh, to make the first figure eight. And then, so that's the very first step. Let me just show you that again. So you get about approximately a meter of rope. It'll depend on the diameter of the rope, how much you actually need, but start with about a meter. So first thing, we're making the loop. We're going to go around the, in behind and we're going to go back through. That's the very first step. The next step, and I'm, I'm going to step away from the point of view uh, and show you here from close up from the side. So you're going to take that in now with the, with the eight in it and you're going to come through the loop. So make sure you're coming the little keeper here. You're going through the hole in the bottom one and you're going through the hole in the top one. You're going to suck the knot in quite close to the harness and then you're going to follow this one back around through. So you're going to follow this rope around. So keep them, you know, you're, you're essentially making them parallel. So you're going to go back around and then we're following it back and there is the tie-in. Now generally I would make this a little bit closer. You want to have at least two hands um, you know of rope left. You want to have enough so that you can you can do a simple half hitch. You don't want this too long but you definitely don't want it too short. So that is the figure eight. Now I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to show you from a point of view standpoint, I'm going to move the camera so that you're looking down at it just like you would be if you were tying in yourself. Okay, I'm going to show you that again uh, from a point of view perspective. So we get about a meter. We make that first loop. And uh, for me, this is the way I do it. I come across uh, essentially making a T with the loose end of the rope on the front. I pass it around the back and then back through the hole and you double check you give it the visual that is the that is the eight that we want and that feels a little bit short so i'm going to just make it a little bit longer and that's just from experience and then here we're coming through the harness through both loops and uh, we're going to keep the knot you know quite close to to the loops and we're going to follow it back through and uh, snug it up you know fairly close and then again we're just going to follow it back around so we're threading it through around through and there we go and i've got you know over three hands that uh, maybe that's a little long but um i can actually do uh, almost a full fisherman's just to just to, to, to snug it up so before we leave here it's one of those things um just want to mention this is a critical safety element for you and for your partners um you need to stress test this so i would personally uh you know get this and you have to learn this at the climbing gym to, you got to pass the knot test at the gym but there are people that make make mistakes um, even you know experienced climbers who've been climbing 20 30 40 even 50 years you know they'll be at the gym they're in they're doing their knot they're having a conversation which is always common and chat 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 hey what about that route and uh, somebody will say hey Bob and then they'll look away 
have a conversation for five minutes and go hey i'm ready and then they'll even on a top rope or on lead they'll climb up and their knot isn't finished and of course they get to the top they go to lower off and the knot comes undone so my advice is don't let yourself get distracted take your knot to completion this is a critical element and beginners and experienced people have been hurt and killed by getting interrupted by their knot and you want to you know and if you see someone like check your buddy so that before you start climbing hey check my knot and you know what i've missed a loop on in the last even in the last two years i've missed one of these loops and my buddy went hey steve uh, you're only through one loop oh shit. so you know it's it's one of those things double check triple check before you start climbing check your friends this is absolutely critical it needs to be stress tested and if you ever do like as you're starting out if you make a mistake on your knot you know whether it's on the first day the first week the first year it's like okay you need to practice that if you ever make a mistake it's like stop tie the knot 10 times it is absolutely critical for safety that you get it right personally I would even get so good that you could tie this knot with your eyes closed. Uh, maybe that's overkill, but then one day you're going to be out on the crag, the sun's going to go down, you're going to drop your headlamp, and uh, you may need to tie your knot in the dark, and you want to be sure that you got it right. That's all for now. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Respect the Risk Rock Climbing Mentor Series. Okay, that's me. Okay, just give me a sec. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to take the opportunity here to just do a figure eight. So you take about one meter of rope. First step is you make a loop and then you pass the rope around and through. So that is the telltale of the figure eight. That's where it all starts. And depending on the diameter of the rope really depends how much tail you need. But so we'll see how it works. So then you're going to thread through both loops. Uh, of your harness bring the knot close and then we're going to follow the knot back through and around keeping it snug to your harness follow it back around so that it's nice and clean the ropes are all parallel and you should have at least two fists left of a tail and then you should be enough to do at least a single half hitch uh, and then there's the tie-in.